In 2003, a group called the EAPC Medical Task Force wrote an article highlighting what exactly palliative care is and how physician-assisted suicide can be used for the benefit of patients and their families. According to the EAPC Medical Task Force, physician-assisted suicide is defined as a doctor intentionally helping a person to commit suicide by providing drugs for self-administration at that person's voluntary and competent request. Notice the specification of voluntary and competent. I think that this is one of the most important aspects of this discussion, the case of preserving a well-minded human's autonomy and giving respect to their beliefs. According to a study done in the New England Journal of Medicine that researched the trends of assisted suicide in Oregon, showed that not a single patient disproportionately chose or was forced to choose this form of treatment, whether they were poor, uneducated, uninsured, or even fearful of financial consequences. Before we go any further, I must define the term palliative care. The term palliative care was coined by the medical journal Palliative Medicine 2003 by the EAPC. They define palliative care as an approach that improves the quality of life of patients and their families facing the problems associated with life-threatening illness through the prevention and relief of suffering by means of early identification and impeccable assessment and treatment of pain and other problems, physical, psychosocial, and spiritual. Palliative care gives a very in-depth evaluation of what physician-assisted suicide really does to help a patient. They are given the choice to prevent an inevitable suffering by entering a much more merciful pathway. I spoke with Gerardo Wenz Munoz, who is a counselor here at ECTA, with a background in counseling and psychology, about his views regarding the subject. Well, I, I depart from the idea that every single human has their power to decide what they want for their own life. Unfortunately, we live in a society in which we are imposed by other societal demands their very own values and what they believe on. In terms of other people suffering for what this individual has decided to do, that has nothing to do with the decision of this individual. I think they have the, all the right to decide to stop their lives if they want to. But like, like I said before to you, um, I continue providing the individual with the power of deciding what they want to do with their lives because I absolutely trust that they know what's best for them. In a separate study done in the New England Journal of Medicine, a survey was conducted between little over 1,900 physicians. The research found that 10% of physicians said that under legal constraints, there are circumstances in which they would administer a lethal injection to a competent patient. In that same survey, 26% of physicians said that they would do so if the practice was legal. I believe it's time to realize that needless suffering can be avoided. Those with no quality of life should not be forced into a life of painful treatments, simply delaying the inevitable. The 50 United States would benefit from the legalization of a merciful law that would give certain terminally ill patients the opportunity that they want.